While I'm out in the shop, I thought I'd cover um, the, a new model that I've released as far as the 3D printable uh, retrofit for 308. So I've made those assets available in the um, GitHub project, which I'll also put in a link in the description. But I want to show you how easy it is to switch this thing out to sort 308. So right now we're set up for 45. Um, all I got to do is take the pipe off. I have to undo one screw here on the back of the box. That pops open. You know, while we got that, um, we'll change out the nozzle on top. And we'll put the, three, the 308 nozzle in. We have a new uh, shell plate. So you'll see this is a nine millimeter shell plate. This is the 308 and this is the 556. So we gotta take the shell plate off, which is really just removing the, the spring tension here and popping it out. We'll pop our new one in. Put that spring back on might be hard from this side but let's see if i can do it okay and that's pretty much the change out and then we pop the lid back down and put our screw back in all right now we're pretty much ready to do 308 Okay guys, I was looking at the video and I realized I forgot to tell you something. So for 308, you're gonna have to reprint the lid. I thought I had made it tall enough for 308 to begin with, but when I was doing this conversion, I realized I was a three or four millimeters short. So this lid is about eight millimeters taller than the other lid, which also means all the nozzles have to be approximately eight millimeters longer. Anyhow, the new lid, the assets are in the uh, GitHub repository so you can download the download those there as well. I should put this guy back in. You have to, on the on the feeder, you'll probably have to change out your plate, your feed plate, which I haven't done, but it's really just a switch out from the plate to something like this one. Somewhere. some 308 let's see so what we should be able to see it is this will feed through I'm not gonna run the machine but I'll just kind of run it manually with my hands and there you go It's that simple, usually. Let's see. All right. There we go, looks like it's working. So, I actually ran th some through the other day, uh, worked fine, was able to sort it all out. I was sorting uh, 308 large primer, small primer, um, which is great, very fast. And really the only small primer I have is Lapua and it's a little cleaner and shinier than the rest. So I probably didn't need the sorter to do it, but it was fun. Hope you guys enjoy that and hope you get some use out of it. Have a good one.